Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today we're going to look at the uh, newly released remastered edition of Ghost Panzer, part of the Band of Brothers series by Jim Crone. Uh, they just started shipping these uh, last week, and the first uh, wave arrived today. Um, so, already done a video on uh, Screaming Eagles, and I've won on the Kickstarter complete unboxing of everything that came in the Kickstarter. Now we're going in through the individual games. So, let's take a look at what comes inside this one. First thing I notice is that the box is a lot thicker, like the others in the new series. Uh, used to be about an inch, now it's two and a half inches. Holds the counter tray that's going to be in there, holds the uh, counters a lot better, and the uh, mounted maps. Apparently it's an IQ test to open the box. Not really, it's just for me it is. All right, so there you have the innards. You have the scenario book, which goes up to scenario 32. That only means there's 14 scenarios for this because they are numbering them consecutively uh, within the series. So it starts at scenario 19, uh, not counting the training scenarios, um, which is great. Uh, like that, you can always refer to the scenario as the scenario number um, instead of, you know, it's like, well, this is uh, Ghost Panzer number 22 or something like that. So uh, one thing you'll notice in the Kickstarter version is that we got all the scenarios in um, cardstock form, so similar to the way Conflict of Heroes, uh, I did it again, Combat Commander, um, they come on double-sided cardstock, so they're easier to work with instead of having to you know, fold over the book and leave it open, so that's great. Uh, they've also gone to a, um, a, a series rule book, this is the Band of Brothers series rule book here, so this will be the same one, should be the same one that's in all the series, all the, all the sets. Uh, they explain the rules and how they work, and any special scenario rules will be in the scenario book. Put your clear aid cards. Awesome. The maps and counters come shrink wrapped, or not baggy, seal baggy. Get your dice. Nice new sturdy tray for holding your counters and tokens and dice. Uh, it's nice that it's not too snug in the box, but it's something you can uh, still get your finger in, pull out, take to the table if you need to. Um, probably make some dividers for these like I did for uh, Conflict of Heroes to help segment out the counters a little bit, but very nice. So let's take a look at the counter sheet you get. And the nice, one of the hallmarks of this series is the nice large counters. So these little one inch unit counters, tanks, uh, uh, infantry. I uh, got some airplanes on here as well. Uh, very nicely registered. So they're all centered very, very well. Uh, did not go with the, they're still uh, uh, grouped. So you have to you know, you punch out a row and then separate them and then have to round them yourself if you want them to have that nice look. Uh, they didn't go with the you know the current trend of die cut counters, but uh, that's fine. Uh, and they come right out apparently. You can see that's flopping out, nice and thick though. I don't know how you can see that. But very good. Oh, they just want to come apart, don't they? So we'll shift those there. You get one, two. Got a lot of Russian counters here. Three. Start the Germans, so the Germans are apparently uh, outnumbered here. All right, and then you got a sheet of uh, markers, tokens, op fire, move, fully suppressed, sustained fire, smoke, your command points, and those are all 5 8 inch counters. All right, so then we've got the, um, I'm gonna have a smushed, smushed board there, but it's okay, it's not too bad. And that was in the package, so there's nothing really could be done with that. So you get boards one through 10 in the Screaming Eagles set. So here you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you could actually get 14 uh, new boards up to, apparently up to 24. Number 24, you know, so if it says position board 24, then you, know, then you know what board it is. So that's pretty cool. 
keeping things uh, separate in the same set. So, yep, 1 through 10 is in the other pack. 11 through 24 is in this pack. Um, geomorphic. So they always go together and form a few different battlefields. So very thick, as thick as the counters. They used to be printed just on cardstock, which was fine, but these are a lot nicer. So that is everything you're gonna get in the remastered Ghost Panzer. And check out the other videos and I appreciate you watching. Thanks, bye-bye.